Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to another episode of the Ultimate League. Now in today's episode we'll be wrapping up the transfer window as we're now at the, we just passed the midway stage of the season. And before we get into today's games we'll have a quick look to see which players each of the leagues have managed to bring in on the deadline day. So taking a look at the completed transfers, uh, we have Lucas Klosterman and Denis Sakaria coming in for Bundesliga. Uh, we've also got a change for Serie A with Perisic coming in to replace Berardi. A uh, one for Liga with a change at right back for uh, Paredes coming in to replace Klaus. And a change for La Liga with Hermoso coming in to replace Mr. Autoblock himself, Rafael Varane. So that is it for the uh, transfers. And we'll get into today's games. to Rome for Union and nobody there to pick him up in the centre beautifully disguised ball and nothing positive comes of it unfortunately can he put it away oh a moment of now counts for nothing moving into the advanced position not out of the woods yet oh and he goes to the attack with a masterful tackle Possibilities in the centre. Can he make it count? Oh, very the ball there, but he's missed it. Like Remy. And he's made headway. And a goal to delight the Looks promising this. And a goal to see. Excellent vision. A pretty ordinary challenge. Can he open the door to a potential goal? A goal! And now passing it through. Oh, surely. And this time it's in. Fruitful looking attack. And in with a real chance. And the keeper more than equals. And the referee's verdict. Hold him off there. No yellow card, but certainly knows what the referee's thinking. And the penalty is converted. A goal it is. And now he can exhale. Well, let's have a look again. It seems like an easy job to score yards out, but I can tell you. Can they take the lead? A truly magnificent start. Another corner. Here, but a crucial intervention inside the box. Chance to play it in. Shielding the ball superb. Oh, the referee points to the spot. Penalty. The keeper going in the right direction. Now 
Nabil Fakir. Oh, big chance. And it goes. The lead just gets better. It's Neymar. That is when your goalkeeper is worth it. And the counter attack is on. Options available. And that pass could be troublesome. A goal. He's dispatched it. Much to the sheer delight of the fans. Rete della formazione. take on the Lions. Yeah, thank you, Derek. Real pleasure to be here. Gives it a go. And there they go. But above all, you have to concentrate on the ball. He's in here. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Well, the defending needed to be a bit more switched on them. And a goal! Danger here. And a strong tackle. Now with Kimmich. And he put it in. And now he must score. And the keeper nowhere to be found. Not that he's complaining. Yilmaz. This looks threatening. He's just got to continue his run. And a goal. Burak Yilmaz. He'll try his luck here. And up for grabs off the keeper. In it goes. It's a splendid run by Mbappe. And in with a real chance. And it's in. Marvellous piece of skill. Wonderful chance. It's still alive. They might be onto something for a second or so. Mbappe. Not showing excellent vision. Real danger. The referee correctly decided to play advantage. And will it be the leveler? Lays out wide for the Saints. And the referee has pointed to the spot. A penalty it is, and a chance. under the pressure and now they try to go forward a goal Sheer the referee has awarded the free kick he tried to play advantage but it can they forge ahead oh, the keeper is happy the bar was there well the referee has instructed the fourth so that is it for today's episode we'll have a quick look at the table uh, not too much change uh, the only difference is with Lito just moving back into third place with that draw uh, at the end uh, all, everyone else pretty much stays the same uh, Eredivisie picking up the, probably the biggest win of the uh, season with their 9-2 win in the first game uh, having a look at the top scorers as well uh, we've got a new top scorer in the division with Luka Jovic on 17 goals now. Uh, Aspas on 16 along with Danilo and Huntelaar and still Pallad Bala even though he's no longer in the league anymore is still holding on to that 5th place spot. But that is it for today's episode. If you have enjoyed make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you next time. Goodbye.